Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm actually going to be undertaking a pretty cool project because hopefully I will be making an effective ejection seat for a fighter jet. Now the concept is pretty simple in my head. To do this, I want to kind of use like an operator seat and the goal is I want it to eject as quickly as possible from the actual aircraft. And I think how I want to do this guys is using tractor beams or magnets and having them push instead of attract the seat like really fast and hopefully uh, this works the only problem with this is this cockpit is already going to be very high and very chunky so it's not very compact but let's see what we can do here and also guys you may be thinking where's the face cam well i'm actually a little sick right now so uh i'm just uh, a little too under the weather to be um recording with a camera in my face you know with the the lights and everything <laughs> but hopefully i can still make this awesome video for you guys all right so what i need to do is switch out the toggle here to the negative input and then you know what i'm gonna put a little bit of a delay on this and then hopefully this will launch me you ready guys three two one okay that did not work the magnets turned off looks like i'm gonna have to use some logic here all right so it might actually work this time i got an and gate going into this so basically i need the magnets to stay on oh it didn't work again? I'm definitely doing something wrong here, guys. Oh, it's not even connected. Oh, <laughs> uh, you can tell I'm sick, guys. I'm, uh, my brain's not functioning right now. Okay. All right, let's give this a test. Woo! There you go. That's what I wanted. And I have launched myself. Oh! <laughs> and I'm going back up. Yeah, so there we go. The basic gist of it right now is this. When I'm flying the aircraft, I'll eject the canopy and then eject the seat. And then launch myself into the air. And utilizing the parachute mod, I'm going to parachute down to safety. Well, it's time to turn this seat into a proper cockpit and make a full-on jet out of this. Alright guys, so this is what I got so far for a cockpit. It looks pretty cool. It is bigger than what I usually build to scale. Um, but yeah, it just has... I have to get all of these components inside. It's not too bad right now. So let me show you what's going on really quick. So the idea is... Like the top portion of the canopy will uh, just disintegrate before I launch. So... Oh. Oh. <laughs> no! What is happening? Okay, well, this is definitely trial and error. Ah, I see. So I just have to be very careful with my connections because what's actually connected here is this top part of the canopy to this part. So to fix that, I'm just going to have to use something with a uh, no connection points on the side there. All right, that should work. Let's give it a test. All right, there we go. So I disabled the, uh, well, destroyed the canopy and then boom. <laughs> yeah, okay. One more test because that was pretty cool. I'm going to hold it all down and it should do a fluid uh, ejection sequence. There you go. All right. Okay. What I need to do is definitely save this really quick. I am very happy with this so far. So let's continue building the rest of this plane. Now this aircraft, guys, is completely from my own imagination. It's not actually based on anything. So uh, if it ends up looking a bit goofy, then you know why. I usually do better when I uh, replicate a build, you know. Alright guys, so here it is. Here's the final product. I have finally made my jet. Hope you enjoyed that little build montage there. But here it is. It's pretty cool. It is a fully permanent swept wing. So uh, those wings are supposed to be in that shape always. 
Um, that's just the best orientation for them to be in for the for the weight ratio for the swing. But yeah, it works really well. Let's take off here. You can see how pretty maneuverable this thing is. And I've barely done any testing on this. My jet building skills are really starting to hone in. Pretty nice, pretty quick jet. But we do have our main feature, which is the ejection. So let's give it a test. Here we go. So what I need to do is press up on the D-pad. Oh, and there I go. And there's the plane all the way over there floating away. Now there's no uh, no use for the plane now. And I am falling into the sea. That is so satisfying. That's probably like the best ejection seat ever made. Look. <laughs> Like, it really kicks you out of the jet. I've seen some ejection seats made in this game by you guys, where you've done, like, uh, gimbal jets, which is also a really, really cool idea uh, to do, like, a parachute system, too. So it, you kind of just float in the air. But for this, I actually do want a parachute. So we're going to turn on our mods. All right, so I have just turned on the parachute mod. Here we go. Let's go for a flight. We're going to go for a proper flight around the map here. I should probably add weapons to this thing. Wow, I'm so happy with the way this thing flies. I should give this a better paint job. This is so cool. All right, here we go. Let's pretend our engines are cutting out or in a combat situation. We're damaged. We're going down. My engines are off. Time to eject. Three, two, one. There we go. And then deploy the chute. Oh, <laughs> okay. We have this rotation and it didn't work. It didn't work as well. Oh, there's the jet. There it is. Oh, <laughs> okay. So I need to practice ejecting with this thing. I need to eject straight away and really launch that uh, parachute. There we go. Parachute. So this parachute, it's a modded one. I think this is the best I'm going to get though, guys. It looks really cool, but I don't think it's working as well as I want. I'm mainly just spinning around in the sky, and I don't really think I can help that. When I launch myself, I'm just going flying. And I do have seat controls, but I'm trying to fight it right now. <laughs> I, I mean, hey, it's good enough, right? I can really get to test out this, this ejection seat now. I want to see if I can do some crazy stunts. Can I eject myself through a ring of fire? That would be so cool. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> no way. Oh my God, dude, that was so cool. I actually nailed that first time. Makes me think, what else can I do? I know with the repair token too, using this ejection seat, if I'm definitely getting shot down, I can eject and then get into a new aircraft. <laughs> That's a good escape plan there. All right, we need, we need the ultimate trick now, guys. What can we do? Ejection seats are not intended for stunts, but they are today. What can I do? I feel like I should jump through something again like a like a hoop and then repair into uh to a new jet but i do need to wait for my repair token to return okay i just came up with a pretty cool one there is that archway all the way over there near the long strip of runway near the long ramp we're gonna head there now come on repair token okay so my idea really quick is to eject over this archway whilst the jet goes underneath let's not hit that tree here we go here we go Woo! Oh no, it didn't launch me high enough. I want to try that again. All right, here it is. Attempt number two. So let me just come in a little higher. And, uh, here we go, a little higher. Here we go, jump. Woo! Yeah, the plane didn't survive, but I did. Can we survive this? Oh, <laughs> I spoke too early. All right, that was kind of lousy. We got to do this perfect. Oh, real quick, can I fly through this little gap? That would be cool. Oh, yeah. Easy. Not a problem. All right. Let's start making our approach. This is probably the coolest stunt. Three, two, one. Jump. Oh, okay. It's kind of unpredictable, right? Sometimes the magnets launch you very high and sometimes they don't. Well, they do work. I guess it's just the approach angle. I need to be perfectly level. I'm going to give this a couple more attempts because this is really cool. And then after this, I'm going to strap some weapons onto this bad boy and maybe go into some public servers and actually test the ejection seat. All right, here we go. Jump. There we go. I'm going to take it. Repair. Repair. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. <laughs> oh, wait. Yes. Yes. I'll take that. All right. I'm happy with that. Very cool. I'm gonna fly under this bridge just because I can. Oh, <laughs> never mind. All right, well, I say that has been a pretty good test of the ejection seat there. But now it's time to actually test this in a real combat situation. So let's 
weaponize this, first of all. Alright, so I've strapped two miniguns onto this thing. There's not really anywhere else I can put them. I Like, I would put them on the wings, but because they're swept, the miniguns are going to be facing out. And uh, it's going to be very hard to use. So, uh, two miniguns underneath we'll just have to do right now. So, let's save this and head into a public server. I'm just going to go a bit incognito today. We're going to go under an alias. We're going to be Chirpo Pilot today. There you go. The only thing about this is I won't be able to have my parachute mod. It'll be fine. I'll just repair into my new jet if I get damaged. All right. We got some players and they're taking off. There's one guy. Oh, he just went into the sea. <laughs> oh my God. What is this? This is a massive brick plane. Whoa, that is cool. All right. We got some anti-air too. Okay, the server is a little laggy, but I don't think it's going to disrupt the actual plan here. Oh, oh, we got some zero drag technology. Oh no, this is good. Yeah, I'm pretty maneuverable. I should be able to take somebody down. That's if anyone's going to get up and fight me. We'll see. Okay, yeah, oh, the frames. Oh, the frames. Wow, this guy's turn rate is so impressive. Damn, I'm not getting a lock. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh no, I'm too floaty. Did some kind of stall maneuver. I actually got a hit there. Holy moly! Okay, we have been hit. Perfect time to test out the ejection seat. Oh my god, no way that just worked. That actually just worked, guys. Okay, that was very risky. It was very low down to the, the sea there. But I just survived, which is the main thing. Dude, no way that actually just worked. All right, there's a different jet here. Oh no, the frames. The frames! Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Let me take you down. I think that's an F-22 Raptor. It's got the orange cockpit. Oh my god. You do not want to get in a fight with this guy. You see this one? He just got wrecked and I think he's after me next. All right, you know what? This is good. I actually do want him to shoot me. There we go. Oh, we're still fine. I can still fly. Damn, that, that one pass did so much damage. Come on, bro. Shoot me. I'm flying in a straight line. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's try and eject. Boop. Oh. <laughs> Bro, he just shot my seat. He shot my ejection seat, dude. That was rude. Oh, man. He just denied my uh, my recovery. <laughs> Want to do a couple more tests with this. All right. Let's get some hits in. Shoot. I ran out of ammo. I wonder how many smart cannons he has on his build. It's probably like 20. No! Eject! All right. Eject, repair. Ah, oh, easy peasy. Zero deaths. Oh, never mind. <laughs> no, and I don't have my repair token, so there's no point. Wait, can I eject underwater? Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, let's get away from that AA. Well, I say this is a pretty successful experiment today. I do wish... Oh, I just got shot again. I do wish the uh, parachute mod kind of worked a little better. Uh, maybe it'll work a little better once we get the space update so I can do this in lower gravity. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's eject. Woo! Not a problem. We're fine. This is supposed to happen. <laughs> but yeah, guys, let me know what you think. I feel like I should try and make some flares at some point, like actual practical working flares to kind of disrupt the aim assist. I'll be glad to see your suggestions down in the comment section. And if you like this video, why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me. And one last ejection. There we go. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.